Well, good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. So today we find ourselves at Lucky Bay. The one just south of Calberry, not the one with the kangaroos. It's a beautiful spot. We'll kick off the adventure from here. So tomorrow we are heading to a steep point. Yep. And then from there, absolute bucket list location for certainly myself. And myself for a long time now. Yep. We have got seven nights on Dirk Hartog Island booked. Absolutely pumped. Uh, so we jump on the ferry in two days. Can't wait. Should be a good episode. Stay tuned. Well, we are up and at them again this morning. Beautiful night. Had a little fire. No wind. We hit the hay nice and early. So we get up early because we're off to Steep Point. Pretty excited. And then tomorrow morning we're on the barge and then over to Dirt Hard Talk Island. afternoon from Shelter Bay. We, uh, we finally made it up to Steep Point. Uh, this campground itself is about six, seven k's from Steep Point, but uh, have a look. Absolutely magic. The, uh, the plan from here, I think uh, this afternoon we're going to go up to Steep Point to watch the sunset at the most westerly part of mainland Australia. So it'll be a pretty basic camp tonight, nice early night, and then up and at them tomorrow. Sure. Yep. But uh, we will check in again once we get to Steep Point for sunset. Hey, tripping in the lux. We're going to go drive the highlights off Steep Point <laughs> so that we can just keep the land going. And who's going to recover the cruiser?
how good is it? Ooh. Ruin the sunrise with my ugly mug. Another breath of wind. Nice and warm. Can't complain. Just uh, packed up camp, super basic camp last night because we had to be up and out of there early. On our way to the barge pickup point, jump on the DHI barge and then we're heading over there. Can't wait, so good. Just sitting and waiting, enjoying the sun. I can't see, here comes a barge. I'm glad it's, there's no decent seas out there. Might get seasick. I didn't even bring my travel calm. Should be right. You excited? Pumped. You nervous? No. You should be. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a bit easier than the last guy. Old mate sent it. Whole barge was going. <laughs> Low and slow. at our first destination, Notch Point. One K to go. Just turned off and waiting for Paul. Bloody beautiful. God. Get a load of this place. Group 
rooftop views are going to be insane. Look at it. At Notch Point to Hartog Island. Camped up here. Make good use of the awning. Have a look at it. It's a complete glass off. We've been here uh, most of the day. We have not done a lot at all. Gone for a couple of swims, had a late breakfast, had some beers, just chilling out really. It's been beautiful. Look, it's been like this all day. Not complaining about the weather conditions. Nice and warm. Well, good afternoon from Notch Point on Dirk Hartog Island. It's been a cracker of a day. Incredible. Like. I feel like sometimes our opinion of places is tainted by the bad weather that we have and maybe our opinion of this place is slightly tainted by how good the weather's been but it has been incredible as you can tell not a not a breath of wind and we have just spent the day relaxing going for swims looking at dugongs and sharks and fish and all sorts of wildlife from our campsite which is an absolutely incredible spot uh, so yeah we haven't we haven't done a lot of filming or anything today just um, enjoying the enjoying the scenery we're gonna uh, cook up a little bit of dinner and um, have a nice quiet night tomorrow it's gonna be a bit sad to leave this place really but tomorrow we move on to Turtle Bay. Uh, so pretty pumped to just pull up for a few nights and um, we'll set up the 79 for the campsite and we'll do some day trips in the Lux, which is your absolute favorite thing in the world to do. But anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed some of the, uh, the drone footage uh, that we've managed to get while here. Um, and maybe, maybe you come and check it out for yourself. Before you go, look at this. There is ocean out there. <laughs> I trust you, it's not just nothing. That's the ocean. Look how flat it is. repairs. The old solar panel couldn't handle the corrugations a bit. What was my main concern?
travel hack. Bring a handyman with you whenever you travel. Always carry some basic tools. Always bring my drill, drill bits, socket set, and just random nuts and bolts. And I always use them. <laughs> Bit of a shame to leave, but we got three nights at Turtle Cove now, so Turtle Bay, Turtle Cove, uh, two. So we're tracking it north. It's like 64 k's, so we'll see how long it takes. 10 to 12 now. Probably gonna take a few hours. The tracks are pretty rough and bumpy, so see how we go. It's not there. tight tracks as well so you can't even get up speed to get up and over the bumps still on top of the corrugation so I kind of just gotta suck it up and hope everything doesn't fall apart well we have just arrived at our second campsite on Dirk Hog Island not gonna lie, it's not exactly what I was expecting. I thought it would be a little bit more beach front. It's a little bit of a mission to uh, get down the beach. But it is absolutely primo. Whales are popping off everywhere. There's a nice little rock pool that we can see down there as the tide's going out. So that's going to be nice to laze in and have a couple of beers. Cheers to that 62 kilometres of <laughs> corrugations the whole damn way. They, they warn you about the corrugations going into Steep Point but they don't worry, warn you about the corrugations on Dirt Hartog. It yeah. is relentless. It does not stop. But it's all worth it. The good thing about this spot is there's only room for us and there's kind of barely room for us. So I don't think we're going to have anyone else staying here over the next few days. And yeah, we're going to get set up, get settled in and chill out. Cheers. What a cracker of a sunset. Cannot complain about that. 
Turtle Cove. Turtle Bay, maybe? Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay. Carly is just about to cook up a feast. Baritos. Ooh, We've just been enjoying all the whales. There were whales and dolphins, manta rays, turtles, cruising around out here this afternoon. Been good. Magic. Can't complain. Cannot. Not what we expected, but we're not mad. No. Could be the sun. It's been good. Yeah. Bring in a few tins. I'm just going to keep drinking the beer and enjoying this awesome view. I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of this weather either. It's, it's pretty consistently when we go camping, we get dog shit weather. And it's just been primo. It's like no wind, 26 degrees. There's whales jumping off in the distance. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Call Barry, cause this is living. Good morning from Paradise on Earth. Currently doing Paul's favourite ever thing. Day tripping in the Lux. Just pulled up at Turtle Bay Lookout on the way to Cape Inscription. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But there's a little shock down there in the water. Looks like there's an old old wharf thing down there and some old railway line tracks. They must have used this as a, like, a docking point to bring up supplies to the lighthouse. Yeah, it'd be interesting to look up what the history of this spot is. I've read a little bit about a few of the different spots, but all this railway line. couple of ruins of what looks like maybe used to be a pier. Keep working our way around to Cape Inscription. Welcome to my humble abode. Nice digs. Coming in for fresh rum and sourdough. <laughs> Overpromised Over promised and under delivered. to show people were idiots almost a hundred years ago too. Okay. <laughs> this Nine, one as well. 1934, 53, 81. Americans. 53. 
Surely there's no Americans called Macca. There's the actual pewter. Yeah. It's crazy. This is probably one of the oldest European things in Australia. It's worn away down pretty good. You still see some inscriptions on it. Like carved into it. Hard to read most of it, but you can see some of it there. It's the harsh conditions over here with the old pewter would wear it away. Well, today has been another magical day. It has. On Dirk Hartog Island. Last night, um, you could actually hear the whales, like the whale song, while we we're trying to go to sleep. Yeah. And they're pretty far away. It's quite shallow for quite a while. You but could hear them jumping, crashing, flapping. Slapping tail fins, screaming, yeah. singing. Screaming. Yeah, it's like, this place is like a parallel universe. It's that perfect. In the, what, two and a half days that we've been here, we've seen whales, sharks, dugongs, manta rays. Turtles, dolphins. Like, it's just incredible worth every single cent of the ferry ride across here. Definitely. If you are going to come across, definitely book at least five nights. Yeah, minimum. Minimum. We, we're lucky, we've got seven, and this is only night three, but just absolutely loving it. Never want to leave. All right, I think we might go for a, another dip and then uh, cook up some dinner. Enjoy the enjoy the sunset and uh, get ready to pack up tomorrow and move about half an hour south. Half an hour of corrugations. Yeah. Hey Rick. On the next episode we move camp south to Withnall Point, snorkel the east coast beaches, and explore the rugged west coast, including the blowholes and surf point.